to order. This is the 17th regular meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council. And as is customary, our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read us the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. These are Christmas gift suggestions. To your enemy, forgiveness. To an opponent, tolerance. To a friend, your heart. To a customer, service. To all, charity. To every child, a good example. And to yourself, respect. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Belt? Here. Warren? Here. Carlson? Here. Decker? Here. Hammond? Here. Hammond? Here. Heidemann? Here. Koth? Here. Kittleson? Here. Manichek? Here. Raisler? Here. Sampson? Here. Van Akron? Here. Vanderweel? Here. And Percy? Here. 15 present. Okay, we have a quorum. If we may all join Alderperson Vanderweel in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jody. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. Motion and a second to approve the minutes of the prior meeting. Under discussion? There is no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Mayor's appointments. First one, uh, pursuant to the requirements of Section 7.30 of the Wisconsin Statutes, I herewith submit for your approval the list of nominations for election inspectors for all elections in 2012. Submitted by Bob Ryan, Mayor. That lies over. Then I submit the following appointment for your consideration. Kevin Reitz to be considered for appointment to the Housing Authority to fill the unexpired term of Joe Rupnick, whose term expires 423 of 12. Looking for a motion to confirm. President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm the appointment. Second. A motion and a second to confirm. Under discussion? If there is no discussion, roll call, please. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. And then the following appointments for your consideration. Alderman Darrell Carlson to be appointed to the Finance Committee as Vice Chairman to fill the unexpired term of Eric Rindfleisch, whose term expires 416 of 12. Alderman Frederick Belt to be appointed to the Law and Licensing Committee to fill the unexpired term of Eric Rindfleisch, whose term expires 416 of 12. And Alderman Kevin Sampson to be appointed to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired term of Eric Rindfleisch, whose term expires 416 of 12. Need a motion to confirm? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm those appointments as well. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion on the confirmation. If there's no discussion, roll call, please. Warren. Aye. Carlson. You can vote for yourself. Aye. <laughs> Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Mancha. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. And Belt? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Public forum this evening. Nobody this evening. Wow, no public forum. What a treat. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, I'd like to recognize a couple of our uh, leaders of the city who are, are leaving us. Um, leaving, working for the city, I should say. Uh, Bill Bittner. Uh, worked in public works for many years. Bill is not here this evening. He is retiring officially at the end of the year. Um, Bill is, uh, has been working with public works uh, in a very difficult time in the city um, when we've had a lot of budgetary issues, um, had to address a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, tough decisions down at public works. And he's done a fine job, so we wish uh, Bill good luck in his retirement. 
Um, Tom Rice, Tom was a uh, contractor who we brought in about two and a half years ago to uh, fill a six month slot in the uh, Human Resources Department. Uh, Tom's been with us two and a half years now. We have hired on a full time uh, HR manager who has started this week. So Tom will be uh, phasing himself out by the end of the year. We appreciate his service. Uh, and then we have Ron McDonald. Ron is the uh, Director of Transit. Uh, we've recently got a, a letter of resignation from Ron. Ron is here this evening and I think he wanted to say a few words. Ron's been with us uh, at Sheboygan Transit for 10 years. Um, I think he's looking to move uh, somewhere uh, to, to some warmer climates here with uh, January approaching. Ron? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to the citizens uh, who I've been proud to serve over the last 10 years. Uh, the councils that I've worked with, the uh, Transit Commission, uh, as well as the mayors that I've worked with, uh, Mayor Ryan, I appreciate all the support we've had from you. The working relationship has, has been great, so thank you for your efforts. Um, but I just I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody, and uh, good luck in the future, and I'll be thinking of you when I'm in Florida. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Okay, I'd also like to uh, uh, thank everybody else who has served the city over the years. We do have uh, quite a few people retiring this year, and uh, I'd like to thank them all. So, um, Just got some news uh, last Friday uh, from the state um, on tourism. Third quarter 2011, uh, the uh, city of Sheboygan, our tourism uh, is up 22% over 2010. Um, I said last week that we won a Marcom Gold Award. Our tourism department did, uh, George and Amy leading that up at, uh, at tourism. Um, in 2010, we had the PGA Championship and, uh, in, in the third quarter. In 2011, um, we had our department obviously working full-time through 2010. In 2011, our numbers were up 22% over 2010. So that's big. So we've got some uh, true professionals in our tourism uh, uh, bringing people into our city. So I wanted to uh, thank Amy Wilson and George Tuig and the support they get from the chamber on, on doing a great job. So all, everybody that said, you know, how do you Sheboygan, what the heck does that mean? Um, eat your words. So good job to George and Amy. That's all I have for mayor's announcements. So we have a hearing, a hearing regarding adopting the comprehensive plan of the city of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Uh, this is our long-term comprehensive plan. I believe it's on our website by now, Chad. Um, believe it or not, this is good reading. Um, I couldn't believe I could actually look at a comprehensive plan and actually enjoy it, but uh, Alderman, if you haven't read this thing yet, take a look at it. It's, uh, it's where we're heading. Public hearing. And would anybody like to be heard regarding the comprehensive plan? Going twice? Three times. Would anybody like to be heard regarding the comprehensive plan? President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the hearing be closed. Second. We have a motion and a second to close the hearing. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearings are closed. Consent agenda 17-1 through 17-21. President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that all ROs be accepted and placed on file, all RCs be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions and ordinances be, and substitute ordinances be passed. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion on the consent agenda. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Percy? Aye. Felt? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Reports of officers 2, 1722 by the city clerk submitting the petition, a timeline, together with a report of the results of the recall of Mayor Ryan petition and certification of sufficiency of the petition. 
President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. I believe you wanted to say a couple things, sir. Right. Um, I'm just going to briefly go over this, mainly for the public's benefit, so that everybody knows what's going on. It's been a little bit of a confusion as to where this is going now. Um, I did submit a document basically giving a timeline of everything that myself and my staff did um, in order to uh, force an election for recall for mayor. We needed uh, 4,121 valid signatures slash addresses. Uh, that number comes from 25% of the votes cast for governor in the last gubernatorial race. Um, we had submitted by Catherine Matichak uh, 514 petition pages per their receipt and 4,723 signatures were filed with myself on November 1st. <clears throat> Excuse me. A challenge to the recall petition was submitted by Mayor Ryan on November 11th stating he was challenging the reason for the recall petition. A rebuttal came in, filed by Kevin Matichak on the 16th of November, and a reply by the mayor on the 18th. I requested a legal opinion from our city attorney and received that on the 22nd of November, and then I announced my determination on the petition for Mayor Ryan on November 30th. Um, basically, what everybody's been asking is really the numbers. The total number of signatures needed were 4,121. They turned in 4,723. The number of signatures not counted were 242, and those were for a variety of reasons, which I listed on the document, whether it be a combination of an invalid address outside of the city, duplicate signatures, etc. Uh, the total number of signatures that I validated was 4,481. So after I examined the face of the petition and reviewing the city attorney's legal opinion regarding sufficiency for reason for the recall, I determined that uh, the reason is sufficient to satisfy the statutes. Further, I've determined that the petition is signed by electors equal to at least 25% of the votes cast for the office of governor in the last election. Therefore, I hereby certify that the petition for recall of Mayor Ryan is sufficient to call for a recall election and respectfully request that the Common Council order a recall primary election for the mayor for January 17th, 2012, and I would ask that a motion be made to do so. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. And uh, your office has done a fine job with this. Thank you. Okay, we had a motion and a second. Um, I don't believe we need discussion unless Unless Vice President Hammond would like to say something. Push my button. Thanks. Um, Madam Clerk, could you just, um, there's been a lot of, some questions on whether this could be pushed back to February to coincide with our February um, primary and then of course into April general election. Can you maybe give a little insight as to why we may or may not be able to push this to or from? Certainly. Um, obviously I've been in constant contact with the uh, Government Accountability Board in Madison. Uh, the statutes require that once uh, the election is ordered, which will be tonight, I have six weeks in order to put that election forward, which will be January 17th. Um, if there, let's just go through, if there um, is no one that receives a majority of the votes cast in that election, then we will go on to a regular election four weeks later, is what it's supposed to be. The first one, um, I've checked with the state many times to ask if we can hold off five to six weeks and wait, and the answer has been no. So basically, we are looking at at least one election that will not be able to be pushed forward. However, the second election, if necessary, would be scheduled for February 14th, which is seven days prior to the regular spring primary which I've made a request to the state that I'm going to want to put it on to the 21st, so we would save one of those elections. So that's my plan. I will probably be hearing from the state very shortly on my formal request, and that's where we're going from here. Thank you. Thanks, Sue. It was pretty much known from the beginning that this wouldn't fall with the regular elections. So if anybody was told otherwise, it uh, shouldn't have been. Any further discussion? Mayor, could I just have them include in the motion for procedure purposes Certainly. that you are ordering, that I need a motion to order the election? Anybody like to make an order? I'll make that order. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 
We need a second. I did. We need right. more wise. So we have a, an order and a second under discussion. <coughs> There's no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Moving on. 1723 lies over until December 19th, 1724 through 1731 to be referred. 1732, resolutions introduced three by Alderperson Vanderweel authorizing the city attorneys who... We'll talk about it. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> 1732. We have a motion to suspend the rules. Is anybody opposed to suspending the rules or would like an explanation of suspension of the rules? There's not. The rules are suspended. Please continue. Then I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichuk. Aye. Raisler. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. And Carlson. Aye. <coughs> Fifteen ayes. Motion carries. Uh, 1733 and 34 will be referred. Report of committee nine. 1735 will be referred. Make a note to salaries and grievances. Is that what you wanted, Alderman Board? Uh, Do you want to speak on it, please? Yes. Uh, <coughs> we uh, thank you, Mayor. We talked about this at the public works meeting last uh, Tuesday, and there are three bullet points on there that uh, we came to an agreement on, and uh, we'd like. Salary and Grievance Committee to take note of our recommendations and hopefully we can come to an agreement on those on those three bullet points. Uh, so that's all for now. Great. Thank you, Alderman Boren. Any further discussion on that? We'll be referred to salary and grievances. Ordinance no, excuse me. Ordinance introduced 10, 1736 to be referred. Matters laid over eleven. 1438, General Ordinance Number 361112, 12 by Alderman Sampson, adopting the comprehensive plan of the City of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the uh, RO be accepted and placed on file and that the resolution be accepted and, and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. As I said before, if you haven't gone through the comprehensive plan, Please take a look at it. Good stuff. Under discussion. If there's no discussion, roll call, please. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? And Decker? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries 1640, General Ordinance Number 471112 by Alderpersons Raisler, Versi, Kittleson, Sampson, and Decker, amending the Municipal Code so as to delete, add various positions from the Human Resources Table of Organization and Finance Department Table of Organization. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the ordinance be placed upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to place the ordinance upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Raisler? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law, 1737, an RO by the city clerk granting various licenses. Under discussion, President Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the licenses. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve those licenses. Under discussion, if there is no discussion, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 1738, an RO by the city clerk submitting a claim from Lori Entringer for alleged damages to her vehicle when she drove over an island at Wilgus Road and Taylor Drive. That will be referred to risk management 
and also 1739 will be referred to risk management. Okay, we are now going to be moving into closed session. Can we uh, well, we have some other other matters. Other, other. Chuck? Uh, 1740, a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a contract for the purchase of wastewater treatment plant chemicals, sodium hypochlorite and sodium bisulfite for calendar 2012. That will be referred to Public Works. Submitting, this is 1741, submitting a tabulation of bid number 1687-11A, received on November 29th, 2011, for the purchase of industrial chemicals for the wastewater treatment plant from January 1, 2012 through December 31, 2012. Will also be referred to Public Works. 1742, submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30th, 2012 and June 30th, 2013. Will be referred to Law and Licensing. And 17-43, submitting a communication from the residents of Settlement Trail, thanking the Common Council and the members of the Public Protection and Safety Committee for providing their neighborhood with streetlights. That lies over. Thank you, Chuck. We will now be making a motion to go into closed session. Uh, in order to clear the council chambers, we will be taking a five-minute break. President Decker, motion, please. The motion to convene and close session under the exemption provided in Section 19.85 was passed a statute for the purpose of deliberating the sale by the redevelopment authority of certain RDA-owned land where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. We have that motion and second. All in favor of going into closed session, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we will be in closed session when we reconvene at 7.30 according to that clock.